Hey everybody, George Chamberlain here watching your dollars on this uh, Friday morning. Hope you all have a good weekend in store. Rain doesn't stick around too long. Got a report out this morning and we're going to get a couple more uh, reports similar to this over the next few days, early part of next week. And it deals with uh, inflation. Inflation's a nasty thing. Well, it's not always a nasty thing, but it can be if it gets out of control. Inflation erodes the value of your dollars, the buying power of your dollars. And so we all pay attention to that, or at least you should pay attention to that. The report that we got this morning was the what's called the producer price index. It's a measure of the, uh, of, of the uh, impact of higher cost on the, on the, at the wholesale level. It, it was up by a really big number, 1.1% during the month of, uh, of September and it was all about energy prices. Energy prices for the month were up 4.7 percent. That's obviously we know that we're paying a lot more uh, at the pump these days. Next week we'll get out the report that deals with our pocketbooks and that's the consumer price index. This will tell us how much our cost of living has gone up and, and it will probably reflect pretty similar to what we found out with the inflation level at the at the producer level. Uh, we are paying more at the pump. Prices have really gone up uh, here in California. Not so much nationwide, but obviously we've been hit by this recent spurt of problems with refineries. So as a result, we'll see uh, the consumer price index up. Maybe not as much as the PPI, but we'll, we'll see that go up. This all will be capped off on Wednesday when we get a report from the government. Uh, it's called the cost of living adjustment that they will make to people receiving social security benefits. It's a, it's, an, it's a number that is used by a lot of people to measure increases in payrolls and stuff like that. Uh, don't expect that number to be very big because it looks at a number of issues and is, is going to be in there. Uh, I think that we'll see the cost of living adjustment for social security benefits and other things. What I'm, what I'm reading, somewhere around one and a half, maybe a little bit more than one and a half, 1.6, 1.7%. That's not much. It's really for people receiving benefits and stuff like that it's really not going to really counter the overall cost of living but remember this is an average number based upon national trends not just what's going on here in California but it will be very watch uh, watch very carefully by an awful lot of people out there watching your dollars I'm George Chamberlain have a good weekend